Good morning. It is quite early, but this is a special day. Here's what's going on. Two days ago, a CEO of a startup company in the fashion industry gave me a call. They told me they were launching their app in a couple of weeks and they have a problem with one of their screens. They feel it's not good enough and they wanted my help to kind of improve the experience. They didn't have a huge budget, so what we've decided to do was to kind of make a one-day hackathon where I'm going to go to the home actually of the CEO, going to brainstorm with the product team and try to come up with a better solution. And uh, then I'll go home, try to design it and get it ready for development all in one day. So the meeting is in two hours. I'm going to do some research, prepare the meeting and I'm pretty excited about it. Alright, it is time to go out. I feel ready, prepared, excited. It's gonna be raining today so I can't take the bike, but if I'm gonna take the cab, head out to the meeting. Look at top. Look at top. All right, brainstorm was a big success. I'm gonna pick something for Tommy's birthday party and then head home to start the design. So, Brainstorm was excellent. It was with two really interesting and talented women, CEO and product manager. We spent like two thirds, two hours almost, just discussing the problem, trying to really understand what is it that we're trying to solve. I kind of asked them question. It was really good that I did the research uh, this morning because I could give them example from different industries. As I told you, they are in the fashion industry. So, and then the last hour, we kind of really sketched ideas together and I think we really came to a really good solution. Of course, they've asked for me to redesign one, one screen of the app, but if you really try to understand the problem and rethink the whole experience, we had no uh, choice but to uh, redesign the whole app. But that also meant leaving out some of the stuff that they already did. So it's basically more or less three screens. I hope I can get it done everything today. I'm gonna to start with Sketch, probably move it to Envision later to show them how it feels and work, and also um, get the assets from the new Envision assets uh, feature, which I haven't tested yet. I think it will be a great idea uh, to try use it this time. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so it is 4.30, means I've been working on this right now for about three and a half hours, around three and a half hours, um, and I'm done, I'm finished. I'm so bummed out that I can't show you because they're in an NDA with a big fashion company that they're working with, so I can't really show it to you. But I do wanna talk about the process that allows me to actually complete an app in like three and a half hours. And actually, I'm super happy with it again. Uh, so Sketch, first of all, Sketch new version, the symbols are so great and so awesome. The fact that you can replace images, text, place symbols within symbols so you can actually create states like selected and deselected. This make my work so much faster and I love it. I gotta say, I love the new symbols on Sketch. Envision, the fact that I can with one click sync my artboards straight to Envision, have it all synced up no matter what changes I make, 
and the new assets that Adobe, uh, Adobe, that Envision implemented. That's just crazy. I don't need Zeppelin anymore. Um, so that's awesome. It's you just with one click, it's ready for development. You know, I don't have to prepare assets for the developers, folders. I used to have to export so many things. I don't do that. I just make it like exportable in Sketch and that's it. Envision will allow it to be downloadable. So that's really awesome. You know, those tools make my process so much faster and efficient and also fun. I really enjoy doing it. And in general, projects like today, which is like overall six or seven hours sprint, like a hackathon, uh, from concept to execution, I really, really enjoy these type of things and I hope I'll get um, more chances for these kind of projects. I'm wondering what they'll th say about the outcome. I really think it's a huge improvement from what they had before. And I'm actually excited to see how people will actually use it. So hopefully when it's, it's going to be kind of a secret pilot. So I hope that when it hits the general market, I can share it with you. That's all, it's been a really fun day, except for the rain, I don't like the rain, it sucks. Overall, it's been fun, so hope you guys have a great day. By the way, one last thing that I forgot to say for a couple of days, maybe you've uh, noticed that I have a new uh, intro video for the, for the vlog, and it's kind of a funny story because I received like, probably a month ago, a cold email from somebody I don't know. It's a motion designer from Georgia, and he was like, hey Ron, uh, do you want me to do an intro video for you with like links to several other YouTube channels that he did an intro for? And usually that feels like spam, but he was really nice. His work was really, really awesome. Uh, so I just said, hey, you know what? I have been thinking about making a new intro for my vlog, so let's do that. Uh, and it was a great experience. First, he sent me stuff. I didn't really tell him what I was looking for, but he did something and I didn't really like it. I told him, come on, let's do try something else. I tried to explain a little bit more what I was going for and he was super, super cool about it and did what you just saw. If you don't remember, check it out. And I really like it and I think you should definitely go and check out his stuff and also, there's something to learn here. You can reach out to people and try to kind of sell your services, but if you do it right, if you do it nicely with a short email with good references like he did, that works. Anyway, one last update for today. I just sent it to her and she called me, oh my God, oh my God, it's so beautiful, it's so good. And it's so fun to get that feedback from work that you're doing. So I'm super, super happy. Have a great day, I'll catch you tomorrow.